Nothing can escape a black hole. You can never see anything enter a black hole. Imagine trapping your enemy in a spaceship and sending them towards a black hole. They glare back at you while shaking their fist. But as they move closer, something odd happens. Instead of speeding up like you'd expect, they seem to slow down. Their fist shaking slows too. Why? Because time is playing tricks near the black hole. As they reach the point of no return, known as the event horizon, they freeze in your sight. The spaceship dims until it vanishes. It's like time itself is frozen at the edge of the black hole. This oddity happens because of gravity's extreme pull. Light from the spaceship weakens and turns red, making it invisible. This phenomenon holds true for any object falling into a black hole. According to theory, you'd see everything that ever fell in, like a frozen snapshot, including the star that birthed the black hole. But in reality, these images fade over time due to how light behaves. This weirdness stems from Einstein's theory of relativity, our best explanation for gravity. It not only predicts black holes, but also their opposite, white holes, and hints at parallel universes and maybe even pathways between them. This video dives into the real science behind black holes, white holes, and wormholes. Newton's understanding of gravity, developed in the 1600s, was incomplete. He pondered why objects fall to the ground, why the moon orbits the Earth, and why the Earth orbits the sun. His conclusion was that every object with mass attracts every other object. But Newton himself found this idea troubling. How could objects separated by vast distances affect each other without anything in between? He doubted anyone with a sound mind would accept such a notion. Enter Albert Einstein, a brilliant thinker who lived over 200 years later. Einstein unraveled the mystery of gravity. He proposed that masses don't directly exert forces on each other. Instead, they warp the fabric of space-time around them. This curvature influences how objects move through space. For example, the Earth orbits the Sun not because of a force acting at a distance, but because it follows the curvature of space-time around the Sun. Einstein's insights are encapsulated in his field equations, which describe how matter and energy shape space-time. These equations may seem simple at first glance, but they are actually a complex set of interdependent equations. Solving them requires intricate mathematical steps, including differential equations and integrals. To visualize the solutions to these equations, we need a way to understand the structure of space-time. Imagine yourself floating in space. A burst of light occurs above you, spreading out in all directions. This light bubble contains your entire future, everything that can and will happen to you, because nothing can escape it unless it travels faster than light. In two dimensions, this bubble forms a growing circle. When we add time as a dimension and take snapshots at regular intervals, the light bubble traces out a cone known as your future light cone. This cone represents the only part of space-time you can explore or influence. Now, consider if instead of a single burst of light, photons arrived from all corners of the universe and converged at that moment before continuing on their paths. The scenario also creates a light cone, but this time it extends into the past revealing your past light cone. Together, these cones delineate the limits of what you can experience and affect in space-time. Imagine a cone spreading out from where you are right now. Only things inside this cone could have influenced you so far. Let's simplify this idea by drawing just one line for space and one for time. This is a map of empty space and time together. When we want to measure the distance between two events in this map, we use something called the space-time interval. It's like a special ruler. Normally it's simple because space is flat everywhere, but when there's a mass around, space gets curved, so we need to adjust our ruler. Einstein's equations help us understand this curved space and how to measure distances in it. Back in 1915, during World War I, Einstein shared his equations with the world, but he couldn't crack them completely. Then something amazing happened. A physicist named Karl Schwarzschild, stationed on the front lines, got hold of Einstein's work. Despite his job calculating artillery paths, he became obsessed with solving Einstein's puzzles. Schwarzschild's approach was straightforward. He imagined a universe with just one thing, a massive point in space. No spinning or electric charge, just a simple mass. He used coordinates like distance from the mass and angles to describe everything. 
and for time, he chose a clock far from the mass, where space is flat. Following this plan, Schwarzschild found a groundbreaking solution to Einstein's equations. This solution shows how space curves around a mass. It's like a gentle slope that gets steeper the closer you get to the mass. Objects feel this curve as gravity, and time seems to slow down near heavy objects. Schwarzschild sent his solution to Einstein, ending with a poetic note about walking in the realm of Einstein's ideas amid the chaos of war. Einstein, impressed, responded with equal admiration, surprised at how Schwarzschild cracked the problem so elegantly. But what appeared simple soon got complicated. People noticed two issues with Schwarzschild's solution. First, at the center of the mass, the equation went haywire, dividing by zero and breaking down. This chaos is known as a singularity. Yet, that could be forgiven since it's deep inside the mass. But there's another problem outside, at a specific distance called the Schwarzschild radius, where things go wild again. This leads to a second singularity. What's happening here? At the Schwarzschild radius, space-time curves so steeply that nothing, not even light, can escape. It's like a point of no return. So, anything inside this radius gets trapped, creating a dark object that devours matter and light. A black hole. But many doubted such a thing could exist. It would need a massive amount of matter squeezed into a tiny space. How could that ever happen? We've just taken a mind-bending journey through the mysterious world of black holes, white holes, and the mind-boggling twists of Einstein's equations. But before you drift away, let's wrap up with a cosmic bang. Think about it. At the Schwarzschild radius, space bends so sharply that even light can't escape. It's like a cosmic vacuum cleaner gobbling up everything in its path, including light itself. Can you imagine anything more mind-blowing than that? Now, here's the kicker. Many folks doubted the existence of these cosmic beasts, these black holes. They thought, how could something so massive be squeezed into such a tiny space? But guess what? They're real, and we've just scratched the surface of their secrets. But hey, don't just take our word for it. Dive deeper into the wonders of space science by hitting that subscribe button and joining our cosmic community. We've got a galaxy of videos waiting for you, each one unlocking new mysteries and revelations about the universe we call home. What do you think about this? Comment down below with your thoughts and start participating to be a part of this cosmic community. Also, do like this video to support us and share it with your friends and relatives and build a curiosity which leads to another invention. Hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you can be the first person to appear in the next extraordinary journey. See you in the next video. Until then, thank you for watching this video until the end.